guys, Laban Probst, owner and head instructor here at Lucas Lepre Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Knoxville, Tennessee. Coming to you guys with another gym fix, all right? So if you guys will look at my finger here, you'll see the cyst I have right here, all right? It's called the digital mucus cyst. Not a very common cyst, but in Jiu-Jitsu, you will get these sometimes. If you look at my knuckles, you'll see how they're kind of calcified. You got these calcifications on the outside here. And this comes from making improper grips. So when you're making a pocket grip on the gi sleeve here, and I flip it, and I used to do this, just people squeeze the grip and make a fist, all right? And that holds, but you get this tug of war with this person, there's a lot of pressure here. You wanna make kind of like a climber's grip. You just wanna make a hook. Because I can make this hook and just maintain the hook, and they pull less damage on the ends of your uh, fingers. Your fingers won't look like mine as much. But since I have this damage on the fingers, that's where I got this cyst came up, all right? The cyst isn't like a, di a typical cyst. It's not gonna be yellow on the inside or anything like that. It's gonna look like a clear jelly when I remove it. So I've drained this one a few times, uh, two or three times. I'm probably gonna end up going to a dermatologist to have them remove, remove it. They'll uh, burn on the inside with the, the little laser and uh, stop it from coming back. But I figure it's a good thing, you know, a good opportunity to show you guys Something that you probably don't see very often, or if you do see, I don't want you to freak out and think it's something bad. They don't really hurt. They don't do really any damage. They're more cosmetic. This one's gotten pretty full and it's, you know, annoying, but it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cause any pain or anything. But I thought it'd be a good opportunity to show you guys something that, you know, you might see in your career and uh, show you how to drain it. Normally I would use a needle, a pin to kind of prick the top, make an opening you know, remove the contents by squeezing. Um, I don't have one, I don't have a, a, a scalp or anything with me. So, I'm gonna use my knife, all right? Knife's getting sharp. So you guys check out my video where I took the stitches out. Right? I stabbed myself with the same knife, I took the stitches out with the knife. So now, we're gonna remove this cyst with the same knife. First, I'll clean the area. All right. Alcohol pad. Clean the cyst real good. I scrub it out, just wipe it. I'm gonna clean the blade of my knife. Everything good sterile. And I'm not cutting anything really deep here. So I'm not gonna do a, you know, I'm not gonna, sorry, move this. I'm not gonna have a really big chance of uh, having an infection or anything. I'm just gonna nick the skin at the top. So you'll see this kind of this discolored area. That's kind of where I've done it before. I'm gonna take my knife, go in, and cut. And I got deep enough that time, I'm gonna make it just a little bit deeper. You can see the stuff's wanting us to come out now. There we go. So that should be enough. Give it a squeeze. And you see, it's like a jelly. It's not like the typical yellow stuff that you see in a, in a, a cyst uh, somewhere else on your body. It's like a little clear jelly, right? Get that off, make sure I get all the contents out. When I start getting blood, I should have pretty much all of it. And blood's good because blood is how your body cleans its own wounds. The blood's flush, any bacteria, anything that may be trying to get in. Clean it again with alcohol wipe. You can tell it's down a lot more than what it was. Like I said, it's probably gonna seal up again. There's a, or sorry, swell up again. There's a sac in there that you can't really squeeze out, it's attached. So, like I said, I will go to the dermatologist in the next uh, month or two when I have a chance to go. This schedule's pretty busy. When I have a chance to go, have her to go in there. She'll make a bigger incision. She'll remove the contents and the sac. She'll burn the inside, and that will keep it from coming back. That's how we drain a, mucus, or sorry, a digital mucus cyst here at Lucas Lepre Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu in Austin, Tennessee.